you know you can treat it like a numerical rather than derivation because nobody is going to ask this derivation in your school exam so even though i am teaching you like as if it is a derivation treat it like it is a numerical okay case number 2 is circular charge at the center how much find out there is a circle charge per unit length is lambda okay radius of the circle is capital r you have to find out the electric field at the center okay all of you it's a direct thing yes it is equal to zero okay so i think many of you have got it you have to understand you are dealing with vectors okay so suppose you take a small charge at the top take a small dq at the top which direction the field will be because of this vertically downwards just look at field due to dq now take a charge here dq which direction field due to this will be upwards so they these two will cancel out so i am saying for every charge you take at a location there will be diametrically opposite another charge which will cancel out the electric field so like this you will get vectors electric field vectors like this so they will all cancel out so electric field is zero for uniformly distributed charge uniformly all of you understood this clear okay now do this one suppose this is a scenario circular arc okay center was somewhere here right this is a center charge per unit length is lambda okay and uh, the scenario given to you is this radius is r this is theta this is also theta try finding out electric field due to this circular arc here also you have to use the symmetry can anyone tell me which direction the net electric field will be towards left towards the arc along the right okay okay along the dotted line bisector correct okay all right so i just demonstrate to you uh, the direction of the electric field suppose you take a small dq here okay which direction the field will be because of that it will be like this now take a symmetrical dq over here as well take a dq here now the electric field will be like this so now between these two when you add these two vectors which direction the field will be because of these two these two field will be in which direction their components will get cancelled along this line the component will remain over here yes or no along the x axis right okay so electric field you can take any charge you will always get a charge symmetrical you can take here and another charge here one field will be like this other field will be like that so their component along this line will get cancelled and along that line will get added up fine so because of that i already know that my net electric field will be in this direction only electric field will be in this direction so i will integrate along that direction only 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी यू टू टेक कंपोनेंट एंड इंटीग्रेट ओके सो कैन यू डू इट नाउ और शुड आई सॉल्व इट ओके आई विल सॉल्व इट नाउ टेक अ डी क्यू ओवर हियर आई हैव अ डी क्यू ओके इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल बी नेचुरली इन दिस डायरेक्शन दिस इज माई डी ई ओके दिस एंगल इज अ वेरिएबल लेट्स टेक इट एज फाइव दिस एंगल द स्मॉल एंगल इज डी फाइव द स्मॉल एंगल दिस एलिमेंट मेक्स दिस एलिमेंट इज डी क्यू ओके विच इज इक्वल टू लेमडा इन टू डी एल डी एल इज दिस स्मॉल आर्क दिस मच ओके विच इज आर डी थी आर डी फाइव सो लेमडा इन टू आर डी फाइव दिस इज माई डी क्यू ओके so all of you understood till now this angle is phi so i know electric field is horizontal direction so i will integrate the electric field along x axis which is de cos of phi okay de is what k into dq By R square cos of phi. All of you type in. Is it clear till now? Everyone, what is the doubt? If there is, feel free to ask doubts. Okay. It is very easy to ignore. What is I? Where is I? L. Where is L? अच्छा डीएल डीएल यू मीन दिस इज डीएल द स्मॉल आर्क लेंथ यू टू कंसिडर स्मॉल लेंथ फॉर डी क्यू राइट डी क्यू विल ऑक्यूपाई स्मॉल लेंथ बिकॉज इट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑन द लेंथ ओनली ओके सो द चार्ज ऑन दैट डीएल स्मॉल लेंथ डीएल इज चार्ज पर्यट लेंथ लेमडा इन टू डीएल ओके and dl can be written as r into angle d5 so dq is lambda r d5 understood this now dq is lambda r d5 and electric field is like this okay so i cannot integrate de why i cannot integrate de because de Direction will be different for every DQ I take. Suppose I take DQ over here, my DE will be in that direction. How can I add this and that like a number? They are like this. They are vectors. If they are in the same direction, then I can add all the DE and integrate DE. Like for example, the previous case when it was a rod, but now all the DEs are at different different. directions so what i have done is i have found out that electric field will exist only horizontally okay so i have found out the component of de in the horizontal direction and i am integrating that only now is it clear de is dq by r k dq by r square into cos of phi is dex see the uh, when when i am teaching this i am assuming that you guys have done basic calculus okay i am assuming that you have basic understanding of integral all right so if you have not a basic understanding of integral it is all right you can learn okay so message me i'll send you a basic this thing which is required for you to watch otherwise this will create a problem again and again throughout the class 12 it will be a problem it is very easy for me to not to teach this i can 
you know easily ignore this that you know this integral part uh, people face lot of trouble so let me teach only simple simple things all of you will be happy that you are able to solve questions but when exam comes you'll get shock of your life okay so better you learn those difficult difficult things as well then only you will be able to score well okay so again dx is k dq by r square into cos of 5 dq is like we can we have discussed it is lambda r d5 cos of 5 this is dex okay one r get cancelled away so when i integrate the electric field along x axis my total electric field is that only because electric field along y axis is zero so k lambda by r integral of cos of phi d phi what is the limit for phi how my phi is changing upper limit and lower limit i have to cover the entire circular arc my phi will change from what to what to cover the entire circular arc phi should cover like this and then like that so first i have to go anti clockwise or first i have to go clockwise then anti clockwise whatever so my limits will be minus theta to plus theta okay integral of cos phi is how much everyone cos of phi integral is what Minus of sine phi. Derivative of cos phi is minus sine phi. Integral of cos phi is sine phi. Okay. All right. So the shouldn't what shouldn't it be from theta to minus theta? Not the doesn't matter. Okay. You. are finding out the magnitude of electric field whether it is minus theta to plus theta theta to minus theta at the end you are anyway going to take mod direction you already know electric field is k lambda by r sin of phi minus theta to plus theta understood anurag It will be two k lambda sine of theta. You are assuming anti-clockwise to be positive, clockwise to be negative, right? So you can assume anti-clockwise to be negative, clockwise positive. Okay, it's not a rule. K lambda by r. This is the expression for the electric field due to the circular arc. Okay, and if the charge is positive, electric field is away from the circular arc along the symmetry line if it is a negative circular arc charge electric field will be towards the circular arc along the symmetry line okay fine for a full circle what is the value of theta for a full circle theta is what 360 degree or 180 degree look how theta is defined theta will be 180 okay from symmetry line how much angle it makes right so when this theta becomes 180 the upper also becomes 180 so for full circle theta is 180 so electric field becomes zero and that is exactly what it should be okay for half circle what is the value of theta For half circle, theta is what? Ninety degree. So you can put theta is ninety. You'll get electric field due to the half circle. Fine. I hope things are clear. Okay. Some of you might be thinking, sir told us that class twelfth physics is extremely easy. Now he's showing all kinds of integrals and headache is there. 
क्लास ट्वेल्थ इज इजी वाई क्लास ट्वेल्थ इज इजी बिकॉज द वराइटी न्यूमेरिकल्स आर वेरी लेस इफ यू फोकस रियली हार्ड और वेल कॉन्सेंट्रेट वेल इन लर्निंग द थियरी ऑल दिस इंटीग्रल समहाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड एंड एवरीथिंग इज डन देन द नंबर ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स यू हैव टू सॉल्व इज वेरी लेस इन नंबर ओके दैट इज वाई आई टोल्ड क्लास ट्वेल्थ इज ईजी जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द थियरी न्यूमेरिकल पार्ट वेन यू प्रैक्टिस द वराइटीज आर वेरी लेस जस्ट लेट से फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी वराइटीज ऑफ क्वेश्चन पर चैप्टर बट इन इलेवेंथ चैप्टर लाइक रिजिट बॉडी मोशन मिलियंस ऑफ वराइटीज इट इज नेवर एंडिंग ओके सो दैट इज वाई ट्वेल्थ इज ईजी ऑल राइट केस नंबर थ्री इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू दी सर कुलर चार्ज कैन यू गेट्स वॉट इट इज वी हैव डन इट इन ग्रेविटेशन वॉट इट शुड बी सर्कुलर चार्ज करेक्ट अलॉन्ग दी अलॉन्ग दी एक्सेस ओशिक एंड हरिहर एंड गॉट इट अदर्स हैवन पेड अटेंशन इन इलेवेंथ ओके एनी वेज हियर इज योर सेकेंड एंड लास्ट चांस this is your circle half of it is inside the page or inside your screen half of it is inside half of it is coming out understand the circle is like this okay so this is the axis fine along the axis at a distance a away you have to find electric field charge per unit length is lambda and radius is a capital r find out remember electric field is a vector quantity don't treat it like a scalar it is very easy to get fooled direction sense is there but before finding out the magnitude of electric field can you tell me the direction of electric field net direction which one along the axis all of you all of you along the axis anyways so let us talk about how the uh, electric field is along the axis suppose i take these two charges one at the top and one at the bottom the electric field is like this so these two electric field what will happen along this direction net electric field will be what because of these two zero so net electric field will be in that direction because of these two so you can always find diametrically opposite points it's like a cone it will create like a cone one from here one from there one from here other one from there every time one electric field like this other one will one be like that so their components perpendicular to the axis get cancelled so when you visualize it like this it is a half sphere no why how you are visualizing it to be half sphere i told it three four times at the start how the figure is you not listening so you have a circle half the circle is inside the screen half the circle is outside the screen it is a circular chart it is written also here how can you say semi you know hemisphere hemisphere where is sphere written here 
okay so this is the uh, thing the net electric field is along the axis that all of you understood any doubt in that no doubts so now electric field you know is along the axis you have to find component of electric field along the axis and integrate it okay try doing it yourself everyone if let's say i take a small dq from here this is dq this is theta electric field will be in this direction de how should i write de de will be what k dq divided by this distance what should i write this distance as everyone that distance what should i write correct r square plus a square this is de now i have to integrate what can i integrate this directly de what is the problem in integrating this directly what is the problem what is the problem dq no only one variable is there dq is the only variable is there any other variable there is no other variable right only dq is there so if you integrate de it becomes kq by r square plus a square then what is the problem uh, why i cannot integrate de correct it is like scalar addition for a vector de for this one is in one direction de due to that one will be in other one other direction due to this one in some other direction how can you add vectors like a scalars that is why you cannot integrate de just like that all the vectors are not parallel so if you take components of it along the x axis so if this is theta you have to integrate de cos theta to get electric field along x axis which is what is the net electric field okay so ex is k into dq divided by a square plus r square into cos theta integral now how many variables you have here everyone is theta variable is theta variable all of you is theta a variable no it is not okay wherever you go all the dqs will make the same angle theta only it's like a cone so imagine a circle and at the top all the points on the circle will make same angle theta so everything is a constant you can take everything outside k cos theta divided by a square plus r square integral of dq integral of dq is what q total charge okay so electric field can be written as k q cos theta is what from here you can write cos theta as a divided by root over a square plus r square divided by a square plus r square so this will become k q a divided by a square plus r square to the power 3 by 2 all of you understood this type in is this clear clear okay but q is not given to you lambda is given 
so q can be written as lambda into 2 pi r that you can substitute here all right so um, you can ask doubt from anywhere whatever we have done today today was little heavy okay so that is how it is you know you have to learn these things otherwise some things will be ignored and in the exam you will see these things it will be like that you will have never learned this okay